Amen, amen. God bless your family, God. Welcome to the 21 Days of Impact with your brother DJ Sam Rock. This is part of the Blaze Bible Studies, but this is also part of the 21 Days of Impact. 21 Days of Fasting and Praying, and this is day number 14. And man, thank you, Jesus, for giving me the energy, the power to get through this and just being who you are in my life. And I know there's thousands and maybe even millions of people around the world right now joining in this 21 Days of of fasting and praying. Brothers and sisters all around the world, all around the nation, all around the country, in your suburb, in your hood, in your city, in your town that are involved in this 21 days of impact. Amen. So that's a blessing to see the unity of the body of Christ because we are not an organization. We are an organism and God is the head of his body through Jesus Christ. Amen. So thank you for joining me. On this journey, we're at day 14 from my camp of believers and my camp of brothers and sisters. We started on the 10th. Um, some of my brothers and sisters in the Lord are finished because they started at the first of the month. And other camps started on the third of the month. So whatever you started, if you started, amen, you could start today. If this is your day one, it's all good. 21 days of fasting and praying, dedicating our time to the Lord will reap tremendous benefits in your life. And you receive a tremendous blessing just for engaging in people who are doing this. Amen. Not just to check off a list or anything like that, but to do it because we love the Lord. And we know the power of prayer and we know the power of fasting. And when you put those two together, that's a dynamic supernatural duo right there. Prayer and fasting, fasting and praying. 21 days. So today I'm just going to hit on a pitfall that we could face during any fast, during any spiritual discipline. We may get lazy. I'll say that again. We may get lazy. And laziness could happen in all different kinds of ways. For instance, there's a big illiteracy going on when it comes to scripture, reading, the Bible. People are not sure what the scriptures say. And they're too lazy to go to see what the scriptures say is for themselves. So they'll hear something or they'll see something on YouTube, or on social media, on the news, or preached by a preacher that's really not on point, and they'll take that at face value and they'll run with it. Laziness will have you just hearing what everybody's saying and not checking it up for yourself. Laziness will have you hearing a preacher or an evangelist like me say what I want to say without being checked because you're lazy and you don't want to go to the scriptures, you don't want to look it up, and you don't want to... Study it out for yourself. Let's not fall into that pitfall. So to beware the pitfalls of laziness. Proverbs 24 verses 30 and 34. Turn into your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 24 verses 30 to 34. The Bible says, I walked by the field of a lazy person, the vineyard of one with no common sense. I saw that it was overgrown with nettles. It was covered with weeds and it, its walls were broken down. Then as I looked and thought about it, I learned this lesson. A little extra sleep, a little more slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, then poverty will pounce on you like a bandit. Scarcity will attack you like an armed robber. Proverbs 24 verses 30 to 34. So we can learn from lazy people. And what we learn from lazy people is this, that they're right next to poverty. Laziness is a cousin, close first cousin of poverty. Laziness could cause poverty. Laziness could initiate poverty. Laziness could have things in your life that are overgrown, that needed to go, and you're still in it because now they're growing weeds and they're hanging out and they're making themselves comfortable. So the lesson that we can learn from not being lazy is that that little extra sleep, that snoozing that we press in the morning, that little slumber, the folding of the hands to rest. Poverty will pounce on you like a bandit, the scripture says, will attack you like an armed robber. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you that you give us the energy and the power to accomplish what you created us to accomplish, Lord Jesus. I ask, Lord God, that we will not get into a lazy mode because of the fast or blame it on the fast or for any reason other than medical issues that might cause the body fatigue. But even in that, Lord God, I pray for health to our body, strength to our bones, and that fatigue will leave and that you will give us the wisdom 
that you would give us the understanding, that you would give us the knowledge, that you would surround us with people, Lord Jesus, that know how to battle laziness, and that you would fill the medical field, the uh, physicians and the doctors and the surgeons with your wisdom to get past this pandemic, to get past any uh, fatigue in our bodies. We go to you first, Lord Jesus, because you are the great physician. So I pray, Lord God, that when we see things that are on our lives that are overgrown and that are settling and need not be there, I pray, Lord God, that you would take it out and that you would help us remove those things that are trying to settle in our lives that are causing us pains, that are causing us problems, and that is causing us to slumber, fold our hands, and rest too much. Father God, I come against poverty. I come against the bandit that will come to try to pounce us with poverty. I come against scarcity, and I pray, Lord God, that when scarcity attacks like an armed robber, Lord Jesus, that you will guide us, guard us, protect us, and we will not fall into the pitfall of laziness. In the name of Jesus, I pray this by faith. Amen and amen. So God bless you, family of God. I pray and I hope that you got blessed by this prayer moment with your brother DJ Sandrock. So until the next time. This is day 14 of the 21 days of impact, and I'm declaring 21 days of miracles over your life and over my life and my family, you and your family as well. So let's hold on to the word. Let's encourage each other. Let's lift each other up. Let's continue to pray and fast for one another, for this nation, for your nation, for your country, for my country, for the world, that many will receive and accept Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, and they will be found in the land of the living and no longer in the land of the dead. Amen. So God bless you. God keep you. And remember always that God is good. Peace.